Hey everybody, here we got ourselves a uh, Samsung 2.5 disc, customer brought it in, said they had a power surge and the, the laptop died and the hard drive died. I thought, you know, probably the hard drive is fine, just take it out of the, the laptop and it should be readable, but it's not. We put it in a dock and it does like this buzzing sound, would have been good to record that too late. <laughs> so. Uh, a buzzing sound kind of sounds like a motor starting and kind of not being able to to start and generally what that is is that the heads this has an arm here and the heads get stuck to the platter so first thing I did was take a peek and see if that's the case and and that is the case so we're gonna attempt so if you look there you can see that should not be there that should be parked over here on this side so I'm gonna attempt to unlodge it from there. No, we're not in a clean room. Uh, nowhere near a clean room. And yeah, we're kind of doing this at you know at our own risk or at the customer's own risk. I did tell them that this may work, it may not work. So yeah, that is not the right one. You got better vision. Is that a six? If I would have, okay, there you go. So here, what we're gonna do is just spin this one way, and then we gotta try to pull this back while it's going. And that thing is on there pretty good. And trying to close it up as soon as possible. And that's pretty much it. Um, I think out of these, probably 80% success rate. Now the heads, you know, they could be damaged and I'm not an expert in hard drive recovery. Here, what I recommended to the customer is if she really wanted, you know, she wanted to send it to a hard drive expert or a hard drive specialist, I told her send her out. That's gonna cost her $1,000 to start and above, but if she's not gonna spend that money, if she doesn't wanna spend a thousand, then we'll open it up and we'll roll the dice. Now we're not rolling the dice out of the blue. I've done it a couple of times. I do have a little bit of a little bit of experience. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. That's pretty much where that came from. And we're gonna see, so we're gonna close it up. We're gonna put it on a dock. We already know the primary folder. So in this case, let's say that, you know, the head could be damaged. We're gonna try to get the most important folder first, because we don't know if the drive is gonna you know, run for a minute or 10 or an hour, and uh, we'll see what happens. So here we are, got the Samsung drive over here. We're with our rabbit bar, which is for data recovery. This is uh, where the stuff gets copied to, so you take backup drive. And the reason why we're using this, uh, this is an, an actual, uh, yeah, this is an OS. So keep in mind, if you, you connect it to your, to a PC and you try to get into that file, Windows is going to ask permissions to get in there. And let's say the drive is, you know, got 15 minutes life, 30 minutes life. I mean, it could spend 15 minutes just getting those permissions. If it's an external drive, that doesn't happen. You just can just access it and that's it. But either way, since we do have the device, it's just a better way uh, to go around it. That way we don't have to worry about corruption or anything like that. So we're gonna give it a shot. We got it, um, you know, started up here. There's no power on the drive. So we're gonna power it on and we're gonna cross our fingers and see what happens. I don't hear anything. That thing is quiet as a mouse. Feels like it's spinning. But damn, that sucker is quiet. But it's spinning. And it is on.
So it's cranking it up. You got initialized, checking heads, data accessible. Oh crap, so maybe. So it ran a little check. We're gonna start a project. We still got our fingers crossed, of course. Actually, I don't, so. <laughs> Oops, uh, we're going by sector. Looking good. So these are all the partitions. So we're gonna find the biggest partition, which is uh, 900 gigs. Damn, there's a lot of partitions on there. So yeah, it should be that one. That's the one. Should be the data. We're gonna load the file tree. So far, so good. So you know, green is good. Mm -hmm. If you see red there, that's no good. <laughs> Remember that. You know, that's the key. Green is good, and red is not good. looking good so far Let's see what happens so we got a folder on the desktop which is the primary one so we're gonna go right to that as soon as it comes up and try to grab that sucker and maybe the drive works for you know a whole day who knows I mean it's not a drive that it's gonna be recommended for you know continued use for sure right we might have some little dust particles in there that escaped or our clean room our clean office shop whatever you want to call it all right so I mean this I don't know this might take a while <laughs> so I mean it's a good sign everything's showing up you know green so we might we might have lucked out for this customer and this is something pretty important probably should have charged a little more but we'll see. All right, that's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna pause it here, we'll come back to that. All right, so it finished up, uh, pulling all the info from the partition. So we got this little partition right here, and you can't see all the details, and we're kind of taking the video like that on purpose, but you can see, if we click on that partition, you got all the folders there. We went to the user folder, we went to the user, we went to their desktop, and there's a file up there, which is what they specified, and we're already uh, backing that up. So it's already going, so that's a folder with one gig, and everything looks good, everything's green, so, so far so good. Once we get that, then, you know, we'll go back and probably grab some, you know, grab some other stuff, but that's the critical one, so we wanna hit that sucker as fast as possible. So everything's looking good, so far so good. All right, so I finished, we got, the that folder backed up and show you another thing also the when we go to that folder the software will give you this status over here like integral meaning that that's readable uh, we'll find some others and it, everything actually is readable yeah. if there's corrupt files it'll tell you uh, I think it'll say yeah corrupt something like that so everything looks looks good all those files are good to go Actually, we could do a quick report. Let me show you that. We can go to an HTML report, which is super cool. Let me show you that. And this is what we provide the customer for them to take a look at. For example, if you got certain files that are readable, integral, some are not, this creates a file that we're able to email the customer and you could see what's readable what's not and they could determine you know if they want to accept the uh, the recovery or not so let me show you this which is super uh, I don't want to do that all right so it makes this HTML file that if we go here it's like a like, like an Explorer window with all the files uh, and the folders there okay so we're going and then next to them it gives you the integral so the files are not here but 
the customer could go through and say, oh, okay, yeah, that's the you know contract document that I needed, and it's readable. Uh, so you see, you can go through all those and kind of see that they're all good. Also, it gives you a little report up here at the top. So we got 1.2 gigs, 1,600 files. Out of the 1,600, 1,695, all of them are readable, none corrupt. So that was a successful recovery, if I do say so myself. So we got another happy camper. And that's what's going on tonight at PC91.